they shut down, uh, they, they might as well crucify the, 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 the country because uh, I don't think the economy can go on like that. With COVID cases soaring across the country and lockdowns resurfacing in parts of it, businesses like the iconic cafe are nervously living on the edge. And for the beginners of lunch, we got our regular sandwiches that we make in house. My daughter works with me. She doesn't get paid. And my other son gets work with me. He doesn't get paid. And we're just trying to hang on to see if the business gets better. The fate of the iconic cafe may lay in the hands of the government. Canada's deputy prime minister testifying Thursday at the Senate, trying to convince senators to pass the government's latest COVID-19 legislation, Bill C-9. The second wave is here, I think, with more viciousness than uh, anyone could have anticipated and Canadian businesses need this help now. The bill would extend Canada's wage subsidy until next summer and rework a rent relief program for businesses. The original rent relief for businesses required a landlord to sign on to the deal and forego 25% of rent. Freeland wants to change that. Once we get these measures passed, a business could get as much as 65% of wages covered and if it is subject to specific lockdown provisions, 90% of rent or mortgage interest. According to the Canadian Federation of Independent Business, up to 225,000 Canadian businesses could have to close their doors in a second lockdown. The iconic cafe has already been on the brink of closure until a last-minute approval for rent relief. If they wouldn't get the approval, I would have to shut down because I can't even pay the, the rent. Bill C-9 will only pass with the Senate's support. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.